Hey guys, it's me now. Welcome back to Pokemon Gold. In the last part, we got our lovely, lovely Pokemon here. Jicky Jicky. There he is. And, uh, he's so cute. Jicky Jicky. Dude, Chicky Red is adorable as heck. And, uh, we got a mystery egg. But then, disaster struck and Mr. Professor Elm was apparently in danger. So, we're gonna head south, I guess. Now, I'm just gonna be running away from these encounters. There's not really anything bad here, it's just I don't want to fight these Pokemon because I feel level 7 is fine for Chikorita or your starter in general. You don't have to worry too much. Hello, Mr. Man. Also, I didn't notice, I didn't uh, indicate these guys up here, but... Go, Rattata! Tackle! What? This is a big battle, leave me alone! <laughs> I love that that's just casually going on up there. And this guy here is Mr. Pokemon's house, it's a bit farther ahead. Alright. Oh, I've already been there, though. Haha. -ha. So, we'll now head back into Cherry Grove. I didn't even need that healing, okay. But, we've got a we've got an interesting encounter. If you want to be a bit slack, I recommend equipping a berry. All you have to do is you can either go to your items and then hit give, or you can go to your Pokemon and then give a berry. Now, you don't need the PlayStation Network here, berry, though. But if you stand here, whoop. You got a Pokemon from the lab. What a waste, a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Oh. Oh, okay. So anyway, we now fight our first trainer battle against Triple Question Mark. He sends out Cyndaquil. He'll actually send out a different Pokemon based on what starter you chose. Now, my strategy for this is use Growl twice. He'll probably use Leer. So I'm going to use Growl twice, just to reduce his attack a bit. Now, the interesting thing is, of course, or is that your Pokemon will probably have different moves to what his Pokemon are going to have. Now, of course, depending on your starter, your rival will choose the Pokemon that is super effective. So if you chose Chikorita, he'll choose Cyndaquil. If you chose that, he'll choose Totodile. And if you chose that, he'll choose Chikorita. Now, the good thing is that all of... No matter what Pokemon you choose, his Pokemon will know Leer and they'll all be level 5. Uh, his Cyndaquil or his Chikorita will know Tackle. Also, holy crap. Jeez, he's getting the crits. He's landing Leer a lot. I'm a little concerned. And I'm missing a ton. Nice. This is why I, I cheaped out on the berry, but holy crap. How is this guy hitting me? so many times. Why am I missing with Tackle so much? Tackle's got like decent accuracy, isn't it? It's not 100. It's not perfect. I thought it was like 95 though. I hope it's not like 90 or 85 or anything. So yeah. But at least fortunately, all of his Pokemon will know Leer. So at least you can counter it with Growl. You're not going to be stuck in a Growl stalemate where you're just not dealing damage. Uh, if uh, he's using Cyndaquil or Chikorita, he's going to know Tackle. But if he's using Totodile, it's got Scratch, which is a little bit more accurate and a little bit stronger. So be be warned. Be prepared for that. Other than that, oh, we got Razor Leaf. Sweet. We beat your triple question mark. <laughs> Are you happy you won? Yeah, I am, actually. I was a little worried about that. My name is... <clears throat> I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Well, that was a bit of a concern. One cool thing about Route 29 here is that you can actually go through this route from Cherry Grove to uh, Newbark without even touching the grass once. I think one of these people makes a comment about that, but if you just kind of follow this path, you can make it here without touching the grass at all, which is really sweet. That makes it kind of easy to go all the way back here. So anyway, Professor Elm... Hold on. Nope. I was expecting you to say, like, there was a big hole or something like that. Oh, hello, Mr. Officer. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Uh, yeah, it was actually, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Nah. <laughs> his, uh, canonical name is Silver, so I'll be sticking with that. You can call him Butt or Fart Man. Okay, so Silver was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Oh, see ya. Not gonna ask where the where the witnesses were, alright. 
Vino, this is terrible. Oh yes, one missed Pokemon big discovery. It is an egg. <gasps> this. But is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is great discovery. What? Professor Rogue gave you a Pokédex? Pino, is that true? That That's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers, or kids at least. Wow, b &L, you may have it what takes to crap be takes to become the champion. You seem to be great on getting great with Pokemon. I'm great at reading this. You should take on the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City, which is actually really far away. But b &L, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mum. I like how he says the road to the championship is a long way away, even though technically this is the closest location to it in the entire game. Like the actual league itself. Anyway, the assistant gives us some nice Pokeballs. Five of them even, which is nice. So, we gotta throw Pokeballs at Pokemon in order to catch them, because that's how this game works. The last thing we need to do is head over to our mummy mum and ask her... Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? So you're leaving on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money? Alright. So, now this is something that actually divides a lot of fans about this game. Um, the whole... If you ask your mom to save money, she'll take a cut of all the money that you get uh, through trainers and stuff. And she doesn't give it back. But what she does... What the point of this is, is that if you were to... White Owl or Black Owl, whatever it is, um, then you wouldn't lose as much money because you're not holding on to all of it. Uh, the other thing is that your mom can also buy certain items for you. The most important one that she can get is a Moonstone, which is something I don't think you can get normally. She can also buy decorations for your room, so if we go back there at the end of the game, that'll be kind of neat. This guy will also show us how to catch Pokemon. Hopefully it won't be exactly the same as the old man from the previous game. You're right, this guy's hip and young. He's even got Pokeballs. Dude used the Pokeball. So somehow he finds a level 5 Rattata in an area where the max level Pokemon is level 4. I don't really know how he defines that, but alright. He's a wizard. <laughs> so anyway, so this guy shows us basically how to catch Pokemon. If you weaken them first, Pokemon are easy to catch. Yeah, I know. Sweet. Now... So now all those Pokemon buyers I've been telling you about, you can go out and catch these Pokemon. Sentry! Go Chicky. Anyway, uh, so you can catch these Pidgeys, Sentrits, Rattatars, and uh, Hootoots at night. Now I'll also be talking about this route up uh, here. Now this is Route 46, which is actually like right near the end of the game. Uh, this guy's all like... You can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from them to take a shortcut. Alright. Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. Yeah. And that is correct. There are a, a few different kinds of Pokemon that you can find in this grass here. And I'll just be kind of showing them. There's not really any items you can do, you can get here, but... At least you can catch some very different Pokemon. Uh, which one will I see right now? Sparrow. Oh, sweet. Now, Sparrow is... Probably the better Pidgey, in my opinion. He's got much better attack and speed. He's got a large selection of TMs. And I honestly think he's way better than Pidgey. The only thing is, uh... He learns Drill Pack at level 40, which is a bit late game. Um... But other than that, Sparrow is a much better Pokemon. Also, Jigglypuff. Now, Jigglypuff... Uh, also, Jigglypuff has a 5% chance of appearing, so I'm really surprised I've seen I've seen one right here. Jigglypuff is a very interesting Pokemon because he's got very good HP and quite decent speed, uh, sorry, attack and special attack to back it up, which is great because he learns Body Slam and Double Edge through leveling. Uh, the only thing is uh, his defenses aren't as high, so when I say he's got high HP, defenses are a bit low, but also, I'm asleep. Great. <laughs> Just great. Uh, but Jigglypuff is also kind of interesting because he evolves with a Moonstone, or at least she in this case. <laughs> there we go. Haha, ha psych! Jigglypuff might be interesting if you want to play with uh, that. The last one that you can get here is Geodude, which is actually quite surprising that you can get Geodude this early. Uh, Geodude evolves into Graveler at level 25 and then you have to trade him into Golem. For now, at least, he's got extremely high defense and the type, the type uh, advantage is very good, uh, except for a certain location coming up. 
but I would definitely say Geodude's very, very good. And and especially if you evolve him, his attack is very good as well, so you can get some nice attacks such as Rock Throw. By the way, just one thing. In uh, this area, uh, in Route 29, there is a person here who will give you a uh, pink ribbon, I believe, on Tuesdays. Just a heads up. You can ask... I actually think you can ask for one every single week, but it's not Tuesday now, it's Sunday, so I can't... I, I can't, basically. Uh, yeah. So that's it. That's all the Pokemon that you could get there. And of course, we've already talked about all the Pokemon that you can see on the way up to Route 46. Uh, not up to 46, but Route 29, uh, 30, and 46. So now, uh, now on our journey up north, we've got uh, this guy finally finished. And he feels the urge to fight. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. All right. Okay. So, yeah, now we're getting into some trainer battles. We got Youngster Joey, who has become a bit of a, a meme in the Pokemon sense. He always has a Rattata. But we can easily wreck him with Razor Leaf. Now, I'll kind of be blitzing through these first few battles, but if, if you're not too into Pokemon, basically the whole point of trainer battles is that the force encounters that you can't skip uh, for the most part unless you walk around the trainer you can't run away from these battles as well but they give more experience so you're more inclined to try and fight these guys than uh, wild Pokemon and generally they're higher level as well the wild Pokemon like here range from level 2 to 4 which is the same as these guys uh, then you have to battle also, I kind of did a big no-no. There's something that you should do in this game, and that is always talk to a trainer after you fight them, just because they'll say something, or... Uh, they'll do something interesting that I will mention once I do it. So we can tackle this guy, and he's like, ah. By the way, can I just say, I love the uh, the freaking art in this game. Not the freaking art, but just the regular art. All the all the sprites in this game are very detailed. They look just like the, the anime show, which is very nice. And they're lovely in color. They've got several colors. They stand out quite nicely. Back sprites are good. They're not they're nowhere near as bad as first gen. Not even like coughing on the wrong, having his face below his skull and crossbones for some reason. Radata, da radata, 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 da na na, da na na, da na na. Anyway, that, this guy's not too bad as well. That's strange, I won before, once because I got a little freaking level 9 Chikorita. Let's just talk to this guy, because I forgot I have more Pokemon for Pokemon battles. I'm gonna catch them all. Wow, you're pretty tough. Could I get your phone number? I'll call you for a rematch. This is something that you might want to do. The only problem is that it may get a bit annoying, because they'll call you just all the time about things like his Rattata being better. He's just gonna call you and say his Rattata's better. That's it. But, later on in the game, they may ask for a rematch, and, uh, I don't know if you... What? What? I was not expecting a freaking shiny to appear! Alright! Alright! So, I think last part I said I had a failed recording, I have not seen a shiny. This is a... This is a new mechanic. Oh, okay. God damn it, no! No! <laughs> Alright, I didn't need a Pidgey anyway, but I'm a little sad because a Shiny has a 1 in 8,192 chance to appear and they're not functionally different to Pokemon, to regular Pokemon, but they look cool and they're special because of that. It's a new feature in this game and I've completely done goof because of the random crit. It's a classic. Ah, oh. ah, oh. I... I was not expecting to find one this early in the game. Holy crap. Like freaking, freaking, I've been recording for what, 34 minutes total. And that's, that's just like, ah. Oh. Uh, if any of you guys watch Chugga's Crystal Let's Play and the fact that like one of the Pokemon he actually wanted had the shiny. So. Oh. Who knows? I might find a shiny later on, but I'm actually, <laughs> this was a fear I had going into this Let's Play because I've played through literally every Pokemon game, 
and I have not found a shiny in 13 years. I found a one Geodude while playing uh, Ruby Sapphire, and I've not ever had one yet, like, afterwards. I'm pretty unlucky when it comes to this. Um, and I was just thinking, like, man, it's going to be a shame, because I'm probably going to find a shiny in this game, and I'm not going to be able to do a thing. Even if I catch it, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to... To transfer it to my main game. Although, granted, I don't think you could transfer second gens anyway. Uh, also, I'm taking a bit of damage here. But that's okay. I'm just using tackle. We're fighting Caterpies, Rattatars, Pidgeys, you know, the norm. Anyway, I'm level 10, which hopefully I won't be leveling up anymore. In my uh, cough cough failed recording, this was the furthest I got with my Chikorita. I only went up to the first gym, so don't worry, but yeah, all the sound was just like, ugh. Anyway, now we're in Route 31. Hopefully, I'll be able to find the one Pokemon that I want to catch here. Bam. I am a lucky, lucky man. Uh, I'm a little worried because Razor Leaf is going to do more damage than Tackle. So, I'll do Tackle. That is solid. That is what I want. Sweet. So, so uh, Beltsprout is going to be one of the first Pokemon that I'm going to catch. Beltsprout is a kind of interesting Pokemon... Just because, uh, he's got really good, actually no, he's not very interesting. He's got good special attack and attack, and sweet, I caught him first go, nice. Uh, his moves come a bit late and his defenses aren't the best. I wouldn't exactly say he's the best in the long term. But again, a grass type, actually no, a grass type is pretty, uh, pretty air right now, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna call him Sprouto. Sprouto. Now, hopefully, there's a second Pokemon I'd like to catch here. He's the only new Pokemon that we'll find. Uh, Caterpie. That is not the one I need to find. Now, uh, the further on you go through the game, the higher level Pokemon will be. So, if you want to catch your bug types, now is the better time than the previous route. Uh, and honestly, because your Pokemon are a bit higher level, that's alright. Not Metapod. Now, <laughs> uh, Billsprout only has a 20% chance of appearing... Uh, in both versions of the game at any point in time, so... He's not the most common to find. I was a little bit lucky on the first go, but... Uh, on the failed recording, it took me quite a lot of goes to get him the second time, and it's probably gonna happen here. Nothing's gonna top finding a freaking shiny Pidgey, though. Like, freaking just going on. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna get over that. Maybe I'll find the glitched copy or something like that, where the stars align and suddenly every single Pokemon is a shiny. There's probably someone who's played a Pokemon game and they've had shinies appear way more frequently than they should. Oh, nice. There's yeah, so the other Bell Sprout. So I need to catch two Bell Sprouts here, or I don't need to, but but I'm gonna say this is convenient for me just because Bell Sprout. There is a trade where you trade away your Bell Sprout early on. Uh, actually, in the next town, which is very close. Uh, and, uh, so I want to trade the Bellsprout for that Pokemon, I won't say what it is, but the other reason why I need another Bellsprout is because he makes a very good HM Slave for the first two HMs. I know I'm using a HM Slave, but it's convenient for now. Uh, this guy will be called, uh, Fart Weed. Alright, I don't really know. He's the one who's going away. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. I'd, I'd explore that cave. We've got a lovely, lovely item here, known as the Antidote. It's like a poison, a PlayStation Network Cure Berry, but you can't hold it. You can use the, the berries and other uh, of, of these items as well, just casually as well. You don't need to have it hold. Uh, this is the Dark Cave, by the way. We won't be exploring this place. I, uh, I wonder if, eh, my throat, oh, jeez, I'm gonna lose my voice, uh, nah, but I wonder if you, uh, if you can tell why I'm not exploring this cave, yeah, it's because they've changed the way that, uh, eh, my throat, eh, uh, they've changed the way that, uh, dark caves and stuff work in this game, rather than being, like, completely pitch black, or not completely pitch black, but, like, palette swap basically and so it's very hard to see things now you can see the exit and items and 
probably things sitting around, but you can't see any of the walls at all, which means you have no sense of direction. There is no chance that you can... I'm going to use Razor Leaf because that will be a bit weaker on him than uh, Tackle. That is actually a fair bit weaker. I was not expecting it to be that weak. I'm hoping this is actually a good level for uh, for his uh, health to be at because now I'm going to chuck a Pokeball. Zubat is going to be uh, the next Pokemon. Actually, one of the final Pokemon I will use on my team. The Bell Sprouts won't be... Uh, won't be used for my ending team. But Zubat, let's talk about him. Zubat evolves into Golbat level 22 and new in this game, he actually evolves into Crobat later on, which we'll, we'll get later on because he's going to be on my team. You can find him basically in every cave. Uh, he's got great speed. His stats are pretty decent once you get into Crobat. And his typing is great because it gives him resistances against fighting bug and grass. And he's immune to ground as well. Only problem, his moves are mostly special, but his physical attack is the stronger one. But it shouldn't be too much of a concern. I'm going to call him... Uh, Babbit. Babat. Babat. There we go. Now that's all we need from uh, the Dark Cave. You can also find Dunsparce in the Dark Cave, but there's a 1% chance of him appearing, and it'll be highly unlikely that you find him. I'm just scrolling over through my notes. Uh, Dunsparce, uh, he's got good HP. His stats are quite decent for now, but to be honest, he's very weak effectively. At, and he doesn't evolve. My feet hurt. I'd be easy to catch. <sniffs> oh, a bit of very sweet. Uh, Dunsparce is not very recommended in any way, but he's great for learning TMs, and if you can catch him, you'd probably make a decent HM slave. A Pokeball, sweet. Uh, I'm gonna see if Zubat will be good at. T oh, it's level two. Ugh. Oh. I should. I should have. I should have checked the level because you can get them at level four. And on my uh, pass run, it was level 4, but I didn't pay attention. I got a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Alright. But at least with Zubat, I can kind of wing it. Get it? Because it's got wings. Hey! <laughs> so, uh, this guy, he's the only trainer on this route, but he's got four Pokemon. Uh, Leech Life, come on, man. This is not going to do a lot of damage. Oh. Oh, no. At least he's only going to know String Shot and Tackle, but he's going to do more damage to me than I can do to him, because Leech Life is an abysmal move. It only has 18 power, it's, or 20, I think. I think it's 20 in this game. Uh, uh, Fartweed. Here's, here's one thing as well you may want to know. Is that the Pokemon you trade away will be the level of... Uh, sorry, sorry. The Pokemon that you get after a trade will be the same level as the one that uh, you traded. So if I level up Fartweed, I'm actually going to get a higher level Pokemon on the, on the way back. Only problem with, with uh, Bellsprout, he only knows Vine Whip. It's got the stab, it's a bit stronger of an attack, but it ain't much better. I don't want to level up freaking... Uh, uh, Chikorita though, but I feel like that's the only way I'm going to be able to get through this fight in the next year. This is going to take a bit of time. Oh boy. Oh boy. And he's fast. Oh, it's because he's been using String Shot. What am I kidding? Um, so yeah. One down. Ten experience is a bit. But it's not a lot. So, I'm going to be a bit cheap here. I'm actually going to keep Fartweed in because he's got less health. Then I'm going to switch over to Babat. And because I don't want to waste your, time, your guys' time, I'm just going to switch to Chicky. So this is this is a common Pokemon strat. It's just uh, send in a Pokemon, and then you get shared experience. This guy's really low level. I just <laughs> I just realized. 
Why am I using Tackle? Razorleaf is going to do more damage. Razorleaf actually does a fair amount of damage, and especially this early in the game. Oh my gosh, crit, oh no. Uh, this early in the game with the stab. Uh, with the stab as well, it's, it'll boost it. So despite the fact that he's bug type, it's nothing too bad. Uh, I'm going to send in Fartweed again. I want Fartweed to level up. I'm going to make Fartweed level up, either way, if he doesn't. He probably won't as well. Come on, Babat. Poison Sting? Oh no. By the way, you cannot poison poison types. So, I'm safe here. Unless he crits. Leech Life is gonna be very not effective. So, I don't know why I tried that. Just cause. Now here's my one little bit of concern is that Chicky is weak to poison. Which means I really need to use a potion right now. Oh, jeez. I didn't plan this one out. I should have healed <laughs> way back when. Man, I'm, I'm going through potions like it's no business right here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Razor Leaf is not going to be as good, so I'll use Tackle. Or I can miss, because I'm excellent at this game. I'm just going to keep missing. You're going to use... Alright, sure. Come on. Come on, Chikorita. What are you doing? I'm going to roll with it. Hey, there we go. There we go. Bad Bad's level 3. Great. Yay. <laughs> And he's got one last Caterpie, which will be alright. Uh, we'll send in Fartweed. I really should have thought this one out. Holy crap. <laughs> I could freaking chuck, chuck Sprout in if I really wanted to, but... Because this guy is still going to be able to do two damage to me every hit. Actually, we'll wing it. We'll wing it. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to wing it now. Alright. Uh, I'm going to use a potion rather than a PlayStation Network Cure Berry, just because I feel like it'd be a little bit better. Uh, okay. Here I go. Here comes Chicky. I love how I was like, eh, you're probably not going to be poisoned. And then I said there was one Weedle. Like, if you're playing Silver, you're going to be finding Weedle in the wild, but this is the only Weedle that I'm going to encounter for a long time. And it's the freaking... It gets the poison. It gets the freaking poison. Like... So, so I get poisoned by the only poison type in the entire beginning of the game. I find a shiny. We are... We have got, like, a really weird run going on right here. Let me tell you that. Aww. You can catch Pokemon even if you have six with you. If you catch one, it'll go to your box automatically. Wow, you're pretty tough. Could I get your phone number? I'll call you for a rematch. All right. Sure. Anyway, Chikorita is about to die. What? <laughs> Being our howdy. It's me, Joey. Isn't it nice? How are your Pokemon doing? My Rattata is really energetic. It's a handful. Hey, listen, I almost caught a Metapod the other day. Oh, it was so close to See you later. Do you see what I mean? They just call you. So now that I'm poisoned... That's telling me that I'm poisoned. How would you know? I'm really concerned because Pidgey is probably faster than... Oh, well, I don't know who's faster. Zubat or Pidgey? Zubat, sweet. On the last patch of grass as well. I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it and taking on Faulkner. That... I love the little hints that they tell you as well. So you can talk to this guy. He's all like, hi, did you visit Sprout Tower? No. No, I came from the other direction, man. I came too far out. I better phone home. Anyway, we are now in Violet City, which is why we need to heal immediately. Holy crap. <laughs> so, yeah, poison will literally drain one health until your Pokemon is dead. And early on, that's a bit of a concern, so... Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Oh, uh, you know it, baby. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be back. It was around three years ago. Team Rocket was up to no good with Pokemon. 
but justice prevailed. A young kid broke him up. Alright. Anyway, we are now in Violet City. Where we'll tackle on the gym? Not this part, but definitely soon. But we'll check out this place a bit later. Anyway, see you kids next time. Bye bye!